let's talk about radar plotting so radar plotting involves obtaining necessary information obtaining necessary information for collision avoidance from two or more observations of target on radar screen now this radar plotting involves construction of OAW triangle so here OA represents relative approach of target and this is plotted by observing the target here WO is on ship course and speed then WA is going to represent target course and speed combined okay now in order to verify this OAW triangle let's study this case suppose target is stationary and this is the target which is stationary and own vessel is approaching towards the target so what you will see you will see that the target will appear approaching towards own ship so we have this OAW triangle and now here we say that target is stationary we know it very well that wa is the target course and speed so if i just click here and just coincide w and a it is going to be like this so oa is represented by double arrow and wa is single arrow in this direction so this is will be the relative approach oa and w O is on ship on ship is moving in this direction so we can say that on ship will be moving towards the target and the target will appear to be moving towards on ship now let's study case B suppose on ship is a stationary and the target is approaching towards on ship so this is on ship and this is stationary and the target is approaching towards this so what happens wo is going to be a zero so how it is going to be zero just i will uh, coincide o and w like this so we can say that oa represented by double arrow is the relative approach of the target and wa is the true approach of the target well it's going to remain same as simple as that because you are stopped whether the target is moving in this direction or it is a relative motion it is it will also appear to be moving towards own ship now let's study the target plotting this is a plotting sheet and uh, i think i will use this red color in this plotting sheet a speed timetable is given you can compute yourself then there is a scale also which is given here right and these are the uh, degrees 0 degree and 90 degree 180 degree 270 degree and so on so uh, in principle suppose we plot we start plotting the ship suppose ship was here that is the initial plot let me just mark it here position of target at the beginning now after some time say there is some plotting interval target is appearing here so we combine oa and o is called relative moment of target now i need to produce this oa and this is the line of approach right so this is the center and if i put a perpendicular here on cn then c and is the CPA or closest point of approach. Now let's talk about OAW triangle. Suppose a ship moves in this direction with some course, say here 340 into say 50 knots, whatever. Now we have to see what is the plotting interval. Suppose plotting interval can be 6 minute, can be 12 minute and so on. So we need to construct a triangle here of that much duration okay o is the relative approach o w is the on ship so we just uh, draw this o w for a plotting interval and then we obtain w a which is going to uh, give you the course and speed of target now let's solve this problem suppose on ship is 340 and 15 knots so what you do 
just mark 340 and 50 not here on the plotting screen. Now, the scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 nautical mile. Why? Because we need to choose the scale carefully. This is the center here and uh, at 8 o'clock the bearing of the target was 0 to 0 into 12 and at 0812 the bearing was 017 into 9 mile. So, this is uh, the radius is around 14 centimeter. So, that suits uh, 12 mile is perfectly fine. Now, what you have to do just by the scale you put the scale at the center here, you put uh, 0 to 0 uh, and uh, measure 12 mile. You can use a uh, parallel ruler, you can use a normal scale. All right. So, you mark this and this is 0, 0800. 0, 0. Similarly, we need to mark at 0, 0812, 0, 017 and 9. So, after marking, we get this point A and this is O. This is the relative approach. Well, I had need to produce it and it goes like this. So, I need to put a perpendicular here. This is called C n. We need to measure C n. C n is 1.9 centimeter and since the chosen scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 nautical mile. So, I have the C p a as 1.9 mile. All right. Now, the plotting interval is 12 minute because 0, 0800, 0, 0, 0, 0812. So, plotting interval is 12 minute. So, in 12 minute, the target moves from O to A. So, O to A, the target moves in 12 minutes. So, A to N, it is going to move A to N divided by O A into 12. So, 8.8, .8, we need to measure A to N. You just measure it and just uh, find out whatever the centimeter, it is 8.8. .8 8 centimeter. So, that means 8.8 .8 mile. So, 8.8 .8 divided by 3 into 12. So, I get 35.2 minute round off to 35 minute. So, the time here it is 0, 0812 0, 0812 plus 35. So, I get 0, 0847 that is the time for TCP at this time the target will be here. Now, we need to find course and speed of the target. Well, the ship's speed is 340 and the plotting interval as we know this is 12 minute only. The speed is 50 knots. So, in 60 minute, the ship on ship is going to move 15 mile. So, what happens in 12 minute? 12 minute it is going to move 12 into 15 divided by 60. So, it's 3 mile. You can have a look in the table also which are provided or you can simply compute. So, W O is 3 mile. Now, I just combined W A and W A is going to give me the direction of the target that is course and speed of the target. So, the course is the direction of W A which is we just have to use the parallel ruler, put it here and let's try to find out and this is around 273, this is the 273. Now, measure the distance and this I found is 2.5 centimeter. Since the scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 1 nautical mile, so this is 2.5 mile. So, in 60 minute is going to be 2.5 into 60 divided by 12 or speed is going to be 12.5, that is the target speed. and that is the aspect of target. So, what is aspect? Aspect is the relative bearing of own vessel from target. So, own vessel is at the center and this is the target which is moving in this direction. So, what is the relative bearing of own vessel uh, from target? So, basically it is the angle between target's course. So, this is the target's course and line of sight. This is the line of sight and it is expressed in degrees 0 to 180 degree red or green, right. So, to find the aspect at the last observation, what we have to do? We have to find angle between W A, this is W A and angle A C. We need to find W A and angle A C. So, bearing from of A 
from C is 0, 1, 7, which is given in the question. So, reverse bearing, bearing of C from A is going to be 197. Why? Because we need to find relative bearing of own vessel from target. So, target course is given, which is 273. So, on ship lies 76 degree on the target port side. I think we can easily compute like this also, east, west, north, south. Now, the target is moving in, in this direction, 273. This is the target. Well, okay, this is the target. Now, on ship lies somewhere here, which is 197, 197, somewhere here. So, this angle is going to be the aspect and that you can subtract. And since this is a starboard side and this is port side, this is going to be red, 76 degree uh, red. Now, let us find out what is the predicted position of target. Suppose, what is the position of target at 0, 8, 2, 0? At 8, 20, where will be the target? So, we know it very well. O to A, that is the plotting interval. And A to P, suppose this is the point, that is the desired interval. So, A to P, you can find desired interval divided by plotting interval into OA. Well, 8 by 12 into 3, this is 2 mile or 2 centimeter. So, we have a scale 1 centimeter is equal to 1 nautical mile. We will just put it here. Now, let us find out what is going to be the aspect at P. So, one thing you should remember that the aspect at P is going to be different from aspect at A. So, bearing of P from C, bearing of P from C is going to be 0, 1, 3. So, bearing of C from P will be reverse and this is 193 is 13 plus 180 that is 193. Now, course of the target is 273. So, the difference between the two will give you 0, 8, 0. So, now at P the aspect is 0, 8, 0. However, However, at A, the aspect is 76 degrees. So, aspect is increasing. Well, uh, we can also find set a drift of current. Suppose, if there was no current, then target is stationary. So, W A is going to be 0, that means W and A will coincide. So, what we have here, if there was some current, the target is going to move. And instead of W A, A W is going to be set of the current. And this I can explain it further. Suppose this is your on ship and this is the lighthouse. And current is setting in southwest direction. And suppose this ship is stopped current is going in this direction, what will happen? It will appear that lighthouse is moving in northeast direction, in opposite direction. So, instead of W A, we take A W as set of the current.